Welcome to today's Advent Reflection as we consider Mary's voice, her perspective in the events surrounding God coming in human history in the person of Jesus. We've been thinking about the Magnificat, her amazing, prophetic, theologically rich song that she just extolled and magnified to the Lord having met the angel Gabriel. And today we're going to think about the very final phrase of, of that Magnificat. She says, He has helped, that's God the Lord, He has helped His servant Israel, remembering to be merciful to Abraham and his descendants forever, just as He promised our ancestors. So Mary lands and grounds everything that she's been saying in her, in her song of praise. She, she grounds it in the historical expectation of the Old Testament, in the historical sort of pull through history towards a Messiah coming. Perhaps she had in mind the words of the prophet Isaiah, who promised that a Messiah would come. And he, he said this, People walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. You have enlarged the nation and increased their joy. They rejoice before you as people rejoice at the harvest, as warriors rejoice when dividing the plunder. Then it goes on, for to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Notice how much Mary has spoken of the Mighty One in this whole narrative, in her retelling of of how the angel spoke to her and how she's referred to God as the Mighty One so much. So perhaps Mary had this in mind when she says, as she worships, the coming of Jesus, the promise of this birth to a virgin is a fulfillment to all of those things said to Abraham and said to Isaac and Jacob and throughout the Old Testament, culminating in the prophecies of Isaiah and Micah, promising to us a child will be born, to us a son will be given and the government will be on his shoulders extraordinary kind of theological flourish she ends on this up note saying what is happening now is fulfillment of prophecy in history and that reminds us that God can be trusted that is a reason to worship God that he's said in advance what he's going to do and then he has fulfilled his word and of course that's ultimately true in Christ so why don't we pray now um, using the words of an ancient prayer, reflecting a little bit on that. O key of David, opening the gates of God's eternal kingdom, come and free the prisoners of darkness. Amen.